Hey everyone, this is Taylor with Kinder Coffee Lab. Welcome to episode two of Kinder Coffee School. Today, we're gonna to be learning how to brew with a French press. If you have some extra time in your day, you're looking to sit back, relax, maybe enjoy a really good book, uh, the French press is a really great brewing system for you. Patience is key when it comes to the French press. As far as what you'll use today, very similar to last episode, you'll need your grinder, um, a scale, again, with a timer on it, your brewing system, a nice kettle with boiling water, and then this time, we'll use a couple spoons as well. The amount of beans we're gonna use today are 30 grams of beans. We chose to use our light roast, Munsinger. It's a really bright, fruity, citrusy bean, something we really, really enjoy, along with 500 grams of water. We'll start the brewing process off with grinding our beans. For this grind, we're gonna want a medium grind. Somewhere between breadcrumbs and your table salt will be the size of the grind. One of the biggest ways you can help t your coffee taste better is your grinder. We suggest using a burr grinder. A lot of times like your blade grinders can create really inconsistent grind sizes. And using a burr grinder is gonna get really consistent grind so your coffee is extracted similarly every time. We'll go ahead now and put your French press on your scale. We'll zero it out. Add your beans to the French press. And Level out your grounds just so you make sure that it's all saturated with the water when we add it. We'll then add the 500 grams of water. Just wanna make sure as you're doing this that you're hitting all the coffee grinds. Once you get to your 500 grams of water, this is where your patience comes in. Sit back, relax, read a book, or like most of us, scroll your Instagram. By the way, that's our Instagram handle. Um, and relax for the next four minutes. Once you get to four minutes, we're gonna take our spoon and break the top of the crust to stop the brewing process. Maybe give it a little stir. You'll start to notice the beans start their descent to the bottom of the French press. This is gonna completely stop the brewing process. After breaking that crust, we'll take both spoons. There's gonna be a little cream left on top, some extra beans floating. We'll go ahead and scoop those beans off the top. Now, this is where things get serious. You're gonna to have to wait another five minutes. Do you have time for that? Over the next five minutes, coffee is gonna to continue to clear up. And honestly, the coffee is a little too hot to drink now anyways. Over the next five minutes, the coffee beans, the coffee grounds, the particles will continue to drop to the bottom of your French press and really clear up that coffee and it'll taste really, really good. Honestly, the longer you can wait here, the better your coffee is gonna taste. The time is here. You finally get to enjoy your cup of coffee. The coffee particles have all sunk to the bottom. The temperature is at a really nice drinking temperature. It's ready to be consumed. A little tip that we have for you. We want you to kind of go ahead, instead of plunging your filter all the way to the bottom of the French press, let's just plunge it to the surface of the coffee. All those particles are nicely sitting at the bottom. We don't want to go ahead and stir those up. It'll give you that sooty, uh, like heavier French press flavor. Keeping those at the bottom and just bringing your filter to the surface of the coffee is going to prevent that from happening, giving a really clean cup of coffee. Let's go ahead and give her a try. Thanks again for joining us at Kinder Coffee School. It's been a treat joining you on this journey to making really good coffee that you're proud to share and enjoy. If you have any questions about brewing, grinders, anything in particular, feel free to reach out. We'd love to engage in that process with you. 